Hello everyone. Good day. Hope you are very well. Uh, today I'm going to describe some differences between academic writing and content writing and what type of opportunities you are having in academic writing. Okay. If we consider academic writing initially, academic writing is a formal writing that will be submitted to uh, teachers or in an institution by uh, a student okay or sometimes students are taking different types of preparations with academic writing that we are providing to them on the other hand the content writing is a different thing that is used for attracting different types of visitors for a specific subject or, or service or product Okay, if we uh, think what's content writing? Content writing is uh, is a diff description. Okay, that will tell different types of stories among visitors, uh, different types of descriptions, different types of uh, pros and cons of products among visitors who are uh, coming and visiting um, websites and um, they will get different types of informations from you they will be engaged with those informations as they the main purpose of content writing is uh, creating value among uh, visitors that will uh, inspire them to purchase a product okay or purchase a service that uh, you are going to describe on the other hand academic writing is going to describe different types of models different types of theories different types of definitions that, that will make uh, a sense and represent to teacher that mm, will help a student to get better mark okay this is the main differences between academic writing and content writing both are writing but in academic writing you will have some specific and uh, beneficial advantages comfortable advantages uh, what's those okay what are those uh, advantages similar requirements and content line in content writing you are not going to similar content similar product description similar uh, service description okay but in academic writing you are going to say get uh, same content line same theories same models th same definitions all over the year for instance if we go to online we have to make an external analysis of an organization okay and if uh, if we are going to make external analysis then it's called pastel analysis on this pastel analysis i have created more than 50000 words in my last 5 years okay once i uh, i have understood uh, about pastel analysis what pastel analysis is uh, what's uh, uh, porter's five analysis porter's five generic, generic uh, strategy uh, analysis what's sort sort analysis okay once when i got about sort analysis understood about sort analysis i have used it for different types of organizations for instance apple or tesco or tesla or toyota or chamber bus okay i have used this sort analysis about for different types of organizations i have used this porter's generic analysis i have used bcg matrix bcg matrix uh, for different types of organizations in my uh, writing career 
and it's the main opportunity that you are going to get same or similar content line for each and every subject or assignment but in content writing you are not going to get similar content line or similar requirement this will help you to create more words okay and then same process for references and citations if you learn referencing and citations at once then it will be very much easier for you to use the same referencing and citations style again and again it will not make any hassle for you in your writing career in the long run okay and use of another important opportunity is use similar type of academic phrases to uh, to um, to use many times okay similar phrases what's academic phrases academic phrases if you uh, search in online then you will get different types of academic phrases okay if you search here uh, you will get here i have already searched mm, 10 academic phrases these these academic phrases you can use each and every file if you just memorize or learn to apply 50 or 15 academic phrases uh, th these all phrases you can use utilize in your uh, each and every each and every um, academic writing okay then this is the main benefit of academic writing and these are the uh, differences between content writing and academic writing okay in short if we try to find out what were the main differences between academic writing and content writing content writing is always changing to attract customers or visitors it's uh, describing again and again different types of uh, products uh, services and many things on the other hand academic writing is demanding to you to get similar types of ideas similar types of topics subjects models theories definitions again and again but in your own and new words okay in academic writing you are getting the opportunity to utilize your short technical skills but in content writing it's much more versatile you were go going to apply the different types of uh, words different types of products services again and again and in academic writing you were having the opportunity to get huge information about uh, information uh, about an organization any kind of organization you are going to available information and th this information with proper mod modification uh, will create money for you on the other hand sometimes uh, if you if you were getting information about a uh, subject uh, or service or product uh, but the these informations are already represented in um, online but for your client it's important to create a new sense new type of writing but in academic writing you just have to maintain formal writing approach and with proper in application of organizational information thank you everyone i hope uh, you have got many important points what are the differences between academic writing and content writing uh, if you have any question please ask me uh, about academic writing and content writing i will create more videos for you and these all will be available for you in our youtube channel